In this presentation, we're going to be talking about acid mine drainage and treatment. One, one may ask what is acid mine drainage? Well, acid mine drainage is a natural process that occurs when sulfur bearing minerals, mainly sulfides, are exposed to air, water, and acidophilic iron oxidizing bacteria, which result in sulfuric acid dissolved in iron and ferric hydroxide precipitation. One may ask, what is acid mine drainage? Well, acid mine drainage is a natural process that occurs when sulfur-bearing minerals, mainly iron sulfides, are exposed to air, water, and acidophilic iron oxidizing bacteria, which results in sulfuric acid dissolved iron and ferric hydro hydroxide precipitation. Because the solution soups into the earth, acid mine drainage is a major contaminant of surfaces and groundwater with serious consequences on, on the ecosystem. Sulfuric acid dissolved in heavy metals from mine materials resulting in the pH solution containing high levels of arsenic, um, cadmium, lead, copper and other metals. Acid mine drainage, which originates from mining waste with a high acidic, typically high quantity, uh, high quantities of sulfate and hazardous metals, which wreak havoc on the ecosystem. How do mines generate acid mine drainage? Well, mines Mine acid drainage is formed when pyrite and iron sulfide is exposed. Is exposed. It it combines with air and water to generate sulfuric acid and dissolved iron. Some or all of the iron can precipitate in the bottom of mine drainage streams, forming red, orange, or yellow deposits. Heavy metals such as Copper, lead, mercury are further dissolved in the ground or surface water by acid runoff. The rate extent, the rate and extent of the acid mine drainage can accelerate by the presence of specific bacteria. This slide shows how um, the process at which the mines generate acid mine drainage um, and how everything is is carried out through pictures. We can we can see the causes of acid mine drainage here, which are coal and gold mines are primary culprits causes of mine acid drainage in South Africa. The impact on water supply is significant due to the placement high reaches of the Va River watershed. Apart from the water and acid pollution, the increase in dissolved salts in Va River is the most serious issue. This is a process where gold mining is carried out. Um, gold, uh, gold is retrieved from the layers of conglomerate rock that is made up by Vitz Vitzrand supergroup approximately 7,000 meters sedimentary rock sequence. The Santra is around a meter thick on average. Um, some of the conglomerate rock is left and mine to, pr to provide support for the underground workers as well because gold concentration may not may not be high enough to warrant extraction. Mining entails removing gold bearing conglomerate layer from underground and delivering to the surface where it is crushed and the gold is retrieved. Water rain. 
water rain water way here we can see the gold mining process where the the gold the gold is mined and in short we can say that uh, um, gold is mined in Witzwitzerstrand which is found in the layer on conglomerate rock that is made up the Witzwitzerstrand supergroup approximately seven and seven thousand thick seven thousand thick meters rock sequence and the satra are around a meter thick on average mining entails removing the gold bearing conglomerate layer from underground and delivering it to the surface where it is crushed and the gold is, re is retrieved rainwater remaining in the dumps oxidizes the pyrite generating sulfuric acid which um percul percolates through the water the waste dissolving heavy metals including uranium along along the way and it it interrupts from dam based as a pollution plum eventually joining a local water groundwater Water from surrounding groundwater seeps into the mine workings, which may be drained out to avoid uh, flooding. After basic treatment, some of the water is used in mining operations while the rest is released into streams if necessary. Coal mining in South Africa is found in layers within thick Cairo supergroups sedimentary rocks underground mining or open cast technologies are used to remove the coal unlike gold mining coal is removed from site and surface dumping is minimal underground mining causes the overlaying rock satra to collapse and once the mining is finished the void in the cracks rock will fill with water causing decanting from from the lowest opening because of its relative relativity with parasites in in and mine coal and host rocks the water is acidic open cast mining entails blasting and removing rocks that lie above the coal layer which is then entirely removed rainwater is then Rainwater that penetrates the soil and enters the bag fill is acidified by the pyrite in the material. The natural groundwater regime is destroyed by open cast mining and the, the nature of ground surface water interactions is drastically altered. These are some of the reaction equations that are involved in the formation of mine drainage. Here we can see the equations. Factors enhancing acid mine drainage include atmospheric moisture content, pH levels, temperature, presence of oxidants, exposed sulfate mineral surface area. Chemical activation energy required to commence acid production and biological activity. And lastly, um, chemical activity of ferric iron. In this slide, we're going to be talking about problems associated with acid mine drainage, uh, which also include contaminated drinking water, altered growth and root production of aquatic plants and animals acid corrosive impact on infrastructure such as bridges uh, in this slide we're going to be talking about the impacts of acid mine drainage um, which also include uh, if mining waste produces acid the consequences of fish 
animals and plants can be devastating. Um, acid mine drainage has the most direct and significant effect on natural streams. The process of high quantities of dissolved metals may result in extinction of all resident fish and aquatic life. Migratory animals that aren't native to mining areas are also harmed. Acid, acid mine drainage, if not addressed, can result in biological dead zones in streams, rivers, and places downstream for, for decades, if not millennial. Metal contamination can also find its way into food chain, causing considerable physical stress to plants and animals, as well as affecting biodiversity and food, human food sources. Passive treatment system for acid mine drainage. Passive treatment systems create a regulated environment at which natural chemical and biological reaction that in aid in acid mine drainage treatment can take place. There are various types of passive treatment system. A few of most common ones are deposited in the figure below, which we can, will see later on uh, in the slide, in the next coming slide. Each kind can be employed independently or multiple tasks can be utilized in succession to improve the treatment of problematic effluents. The design chosen, however, will ultimately be determined by site characteristics and other specific requirements. Here, we're going to look at the types of passive treatment system which include aerobic wetlands, anaerobic wetlands, alkalinity producing system, which is also known as APS for short, anosic limestone drains, which we can also be shortened uh, to A ALD. Um, another one is limestone pond, and, and the other one, the last one is open limestone channel, which can be abbreviated to OPC. We're gonna be explaining uh, the types of passive treatments for acid mine drainage. One of those are uh, aerobic wetlands are the most basic sort of passive treatment system. However, the ability to treat certain types of water is limited. Aerobic wetlands are used to treat slightly acidic or alkaline waters with high iron levels. Anaerobic wetlands are utilized to convert metals to the sulfide form and neutralize acidity. Anacenic limestone drains are made up of a buried limestone gravel structure that prevents oxygen and aluminum from entering the water. Um, another form of treatment system employed is lime dispensing technology in a settling pond to neutralize acidity and precipitate metals. These units are cost, a low cost, and not require and do not require electricity or dangerous chemicals. Then the open limestone channel is an open air analog to the LAD or OCL. The acid mine when acid mine drainage must be transported over a long distance prior to during or during treatment this system are used here well, we're gonna look at the vertical flow system which is also known as the saps um here's a picture of how the system works um there's a cross-sectional picture of 
simple vertical flow treatment in a sim simplified form. Water enters the system from the left and must move vertically through organic matter and limestone gravel to reach the perforated piping within the limestone layer where it will exit the system. A stand pipe is installed in the drain drainage system to regulate water levels and keep the organic debris and limestone submerged. Sulfate reduction and limestone dissolution produce alkalinity. Some metals are deposited in the system, however, the majority of metals are removed via precipitation in the settling pond that receive discharge waters. These are some of the advantages of passive treatment system, uh, which include they do not require electrical power, they do not require any mechanical equipment, hazardous chemicals or buildings. They do not require daily operation and maintenance. They are more natural and aesthetic in their appearance and may support plants and wildlife and they are less expensive. These are the disadvantages of passive treatment system. Um, they may complicate discharge permits unless action is taken under the Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation and Liability Act. They may also fail to achieve severe water quality standard, effluent norms based on quality. They, they could fail because of poor design or harsh winter conditions. There are relatively low technology and active study topic. As a result, there have been both failures and successes. To conclude the presentation, um, we're going to end at um, talking about the acid mine drainage is currently the most serious environmental contamination issues related to mining. And acid mine water discharge has a direct and negative influence on water, the environment and human health. As a, as a remedial option for acid mine drainage, there are a variety of options to improve water quality and acid mine drainage, active and passive treatments are used. 